So, one of my corn on the cob plants is covered with black ants. And I look closer, it's covered with aphids. And since this is my first year growing corn, really, I planted one or two last year. That was a total bust. But <laughs> I gotta, I just took some warm water, a little bit of um, Dawn dish detergent, put it in a bottle, poke some holes in it. I'm about to go give these ants and aphids a time of their life. <laughs> I'm not sharing with them. My corn is doing so good and I'm worried that it'll start with this one. And then upon further inspection, it'll be all of them. So, because there's black ants all over the corn. So let me see if I can do this and let you guys watch. So that's the culprit. So, I think really a real way to get rid of aphids is to, you know, you just gotta wash them off. So a little soapy water, a little warm soapy water. It should kill them. Get them out of here. Look, everywhere. Come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Little, little tassels down there. Little tassels down there. Aphids and ants up here on the top. I just want to get them out of here. See how that works out. I'm trying to do a general scan around the rest to see if I have this problem. But I don't seem to be having this problem on any of them but this one. So, let's see. Ants may I'll be plucking the mugs off. Get out of here. Get out of here. And just do a little rub here and get them aphids off of there. <laughs> Since I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to rub all the little pollen off of there. So I'm just going to reapply here in a couple days. See if we can get them all <laughs> underneath the leaves. We'll see. What happens? It'll probably rain today. Oh, that'll be washed off. I don't try to use anything harsh in my garden because sometimes I just come out here and pick and eat. So I don't want to use anything in my garden. I can't just eat. I'm picking all this Swiss char out of here. It's full of worms anyway. Get out of here, Swiss char. The chickens don't even like this stuff. I don't know. I thought it, I thought it was a good idea. I'm gonna plant rainbow char all down the road here. You know, start off as a good good thing, but I don't know. That's me getting real tired of stuff real fast. Here, eat that. <laughs> my poor onion bit. I'm gonna need some help with my onions next year, and I think before I plant onions. Again, I'm going to put a fence around this or some row covers or something. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so, we'll see. I need to get in here. Look at that. Look at this. All these weeds. All these weeds. <laughs> Going to the chicken. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Little, little frogs jumping around. What a nice morning. Thank you, Jehovah, for this beautiful morning. Uh -huh. I'll never forget where you came from. And who you owe. I'll tell you. I'm going in the house. Hey, I got these mushrooms that come up everywhere. I don't know if they're edible or not. Let me show These are a little dried up and little buggy now now but man they come up everywhere in this yard i have uh oyster mushrooms that come up over here and i have uh woodier mushrooms that come up over here over here in my ladder garden on this stump <sighs> so i'm telling you 
Isn't that just beautiful? I hate when they die, but they're so pretty. But when they die, they provide food. So that's awesome, too. So I need to figure out what to do with all these cherry tomatoes. I'm going to have so many cherry tomatoes everywhere next year. It don't make no sense. <laughs> yeah, I already got a few volunteers. I am sorry about the camera work, guys. <laughs> I already got a few volunteers that came, and I'm going to have to, came from last year, so I knew. I knew, I knew the full effect. I'm getting this bed ready for, uh, I'm getting this bed ready for my next, um, next planting. We got bugs all over. Rainbow light switch charm. I won't, I don't think I'll plant this again. If I do, it won't be so much. My sister likes Swiss chard. Maybe I'll plant something just for her. Here, if y'all pick through it, you'll get the bugs. But I haven't picked through it. They're just so funny. My chickens got so much personality. <laughs> there they go. There they go. They're finally getting it. All right. Well... I'm going to pull up some more of this char, and I'm going to try to give these chickens some of this Malabar spinach. I'm going to see if they like it. Um, it also is another variety I may not plant so much of next year because it, it came way more prolific than I thought. I'll never be able to eat all this. So, we'll see. This place is just a little jungle mess over here. But... I'm okay with it. So I'm gonna see if they'll eat this Malabar spinach and then we'll then I'll know how to proceed with my life. My thing is is that if my animals will eat it, I'll grow it because I'm I want to get as self sufficient as possible. So if they like it, I'll grow as much of it as I can. So that way they can have um, extra food to eat, and I'll see if I can. Let's see. Now she looked at it and kept on walking. <laughs> so maybe if they don't eat it, I won't grow so much of it next year. So I'll just grow a small bit next year. Whew. Look at my goji berries. Look at this. They are growing like crazy. And so is these weeds all around us. I have to see if I can get out here. I might <sighs> in a weeding mood right now, so I'm gonna have to do that later on this afternoon or this evening. Maybe I'll come back this evening and weed. Yep, I got a stuck on a seed. It's my giant mustard. I let those go to seed because I want I want those to grow. I want to save the seeds off of those. I saved the seeds off of my walking stick kale or collards and I'm going to see how that works out <laughs> and I want to tear up squash alley as soon as I can get my black cow because I'm going to need about probably a good nine eight or nine bags maybe even more to redo this bed here and get it ready I need about Five bags for the raised beds. And I'm going to use, I got some leaf mulch compost back there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to mulch and compost everything. And get it all done. Well, that was it for my little aphid adventure. Oh, I forgot I was doing that over there. You know what I forgot about? Let me close this gate. Let people be out here. Kesha just ate a cicada. She's so gross. But then it'd be turning around trying to lick you. I ain't got time. Let me lick at me. <laughs> I have started before my um, little turtle died. I started a worm farm. You know, I think you guys should remember. Let me switch. So I put a that's a ginkgo tree growing there. And I just put the bottom of half of a cabbage in there. This is full of worms. 
and I just been throwing vegetables and stuff in there and so we brought it out here the other day Sharina and I because I put those asparagus in there and it was smelling up by the front door and I forgot all about it so the other day when I dug in there there were tons of new worms baby worms in there that's why I decided to start feeding it a little bit more I'm going to cover it in paper bags probably tomorrow. And voila. I got a worm farm in the yard, which I'm going to put in my garden. So. Oh, there you go. I'm going to probably divide it in half and put a half in that raised bed and half in that raised bed. Let's see. Well, okay. Shoo. Remember, pray for your enemies. Pray for your family and loved ones, yes. Pray for your friends. But definitely pray for your enemies because they need all the help they can get. <laughs> Be kind to one another. It's free. And thanks for joining me in Gigi's garden. And my little duck eggs. Y'all have a great day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>